And please introduce yourself just for the record before you begin. Hi, my name is Alicia Kozakevich, and thank you all so much for, for listening. This bill has been described as a bill that will fight child pornography, online enticement crimes, and human trafficking. And it will do all of this. However, first and foremost, House Bill 1281 is a child rescue bill. Your vote on this legislation is a decision to rescue children. I was one of those children, and I share in their suffering. It's never been easy to tell my story, though I've been doing it for more than 10 years. It is still difficult to relive what happened to me at such a young age. I was a shy 13-year-old Pittsburgh girl from a loving family, a girl like many of you know, who met a friend online. I was carefully groomed by this predator over a period of months. I was a terrified little girl, lured from my home, taken across state lines to Virginia, and held captive, chained by the neck in what has been called a basement dungeon. I was raped, beaten, tortured, and my degradation was shared live to an audience over streaming video. I was a little 90-pound girl who cried for my mommy and cried for my daddy and prayed that I would be found and rescued from this hell. Incredibly, rescue came. Just when I had lost all hope of being rescued, law enforcement stormed the house where I was being held. They cut that collar from around my neck and set me free. I was given a second chance at life. I am alive and here with you today only because child rescue teams like the Washington ICAC Task Force exist. I survived this nightmare because specialized cyber units were armed with the training and the technology that aided them in locating me. The most important thing for you to understand is this. There are hundreds of thousands of children suffering at the hands of predatory pedophiles, suffering as I had right now in America. Untold thousands of those children are right here in Washington State, and they need our help. They need your help. Most of these children have not been abducted by strangers but they are prisoners just the same, often within their own homes. Over 90% of child sexual abuse victims are preyed upon by adults that they know, adults that they trust, or who may be in a position of authority. Often, these children are unable to ask for help. They suffer silently, waiting for a rescue that may never come. My rescue was a miracle. I am told that it was a million to one shot the men and women of law enforcement who rescued me, they are my angels. And Washington State has its own set of angels, its ICACs. What you need to know is that these brave ICAC agents intercept and view child pornography and attempt to entice children on a daily basis. They know that these are real children, real victims, just like I was. Each night, these officers return home to their families and they carry with them the screams of children echoing in their head, knowing that they just simply do not have the manpower to rescue them all. Can you imagine how hard that must be? There are simply no words to describe the horror of these images. These images and videos are so much more than the term child pornography. They are crime scene images of helpless children being raped and brutalized. Teenagers children, babies. Predatory pedophiles in your state are online every day. They are uploading, downloading, buying, selling, or trading these images of child rape, and they are often doing it in plain sight of the ICAC. Here's how we know that a better funded ICAC translates to more money and more children being rescued. At least 55% of those who possess child pornography are hands-on offenders with local victims. This means that if you were to follow the trail back through the internet, you will find a child like I was at the other end, waiting for rescue at least 55% of the time. For most of those Washington children, there will never be a rescue, not as it stands today. Because law enforcement in Washington state, just like in every other state in the US, is overwhelmed and outnumbered. 
They do not have the resources that they need. But you, and only you, can fix this.